And unfortunately, folks, tonight I have to end on a bad note, a bad story that you're not going to see in most places, but I believe uh, I need to show it to you. So uh, one of the stories that's going to be on the list uh, for our GoFundMe, uh, we're doing, we're going to launch a GoFundMe next week. Uh, Ty is working on the video for it. We're going to have stories we want to go cover. Uh, one of them is going to be the Bayou, the Bay, the ba I keep fucking this up. The Bayou Bridge Pipeline Fight, which if you've been paying attention on Facebook, if you've been paying attention on Twitter, they are arresting water protectors and journalists left and right, left and right, right now, uh, who are literally, they're arresting them. And I have spoken with journalists who have been arrested down there, and I've spoken with water protectors. They have written permission from the landowners to be on the land that they are being arrested on. They have written permission to be on the land that they are being arrested on. So I want to show you uh, this video. I believe it was from yesterday, I believe. Stop choking her! We need you here now! We need you now! Come! Please don't put my arms on your back! Please don't put my arms on my back on that wall! Put your hands on Ben like that! Put off! Hey, pressure point! Stop that! Hold on! There will be three points! No, she is not resisting! Stop crossing her! Those water protectors are resisting the Bayou, the Bayou Bridge pipeline. Another unnecessary, pointless pipeline endangering several waterways and indigenous land uh, down in the Bayou in Louisiana. Uh, there is a, they call it a, like a floating uh, water protectors camp down there. Uh, thank you, Exhausted Eleven. Jordan, how's Ty? Any updates on tree sitters? Ty is good. He's actually coming to New York, I believe, tomorrow. So you'll be seeing Ty. And we got a lot of plans, uh, Ty and I. Ty's working on a few things for our launch, so that's why you haven't seen him on air. But Ty's good. Any updates on tree sitters? Yes, there are more tree sits going on in Virginia. I'll cover that tomorrow. Thank you for reminding me. There's more tree, tree sits uh, launching in Virginia um, to try and stop the Mountain Valley Pipeline. So... You have this pipeline, which is the la it's, it's supposed to be the last piece of the Dakota Access Pipeline that will get it to export terminals in the Gulf. Uh, it's, a, I believe, a crude oil pipeline. I'll have to double check that. But I, it, it, oh, no, it is a crude oil pipeline. So it's unreal. They are on land that they have permission to be on. This is very similar to the Dakota Access Pipeline. Land that a lot of water protectors were arrested in, I believe in February of 2017, uh, on that hill, if you remember. It later came out that Energy Transfer Partners, the oil company that was owning the Dakota Access Pipeline who, and who owns the Bayou Bridge Pipeline, didn't even own the land that these water protectors like Chase Iron Eyes were arrested on. But Chase Iron Eyes was uh, charged with felonies. Felonies had to spend countless, countless money on his legal defense. I believe those charges have been dropped. But now you have water protectors and journalists. I did an interview with a journalist, I believe, last week. Uh, Karen Savage was her name. Go check out that video. Uh, just Google Jordan Charidan and Karen Savage. She's a journalist down there. She was arrested and now charged with a felony for the crime of reporting on land that she had written permission to be on. So if you think that the North Dakota police were bought off, which, by the way, the Trump administration uh, gave North Dakota legal enforcement, law enforcement, I believe $15 million for reimbursements for their law enforcement, a.k.a. domestic police terrorism on unarmed American citizens and indigenous people. Also, Energy Transfer Partners paid legal law enforcement. I think it was also $15 million. So the oil company paid back the police department that was basically doing the oil company's works. You know where else? You know what that's called? That's called the public state merging with the corporate state. You know what they call that? Let me, let me, let me tell you for people in the nosebleeds. Fascism. 
That's fascism. And that's what's going down in the bayou, folks. They're trying, they are trying to exercise their First Amendment. They're trying to exercise their First Amendment. And they are being arrested on land that they have permission to be on, which, by the way, the landowners have said. Energy Transfer Partners does not have permission to be on their property. The oil company does not have permission to be on the property that these water protectors are peacefully demonstrating against. So I'm going to bring you uh, to the page here so you could see what the water protectors are asking for. Again, if I had the funding right now to get down there, I would. We just don't have it right now. So that's what part of what the GoFundMe is about. But let me get you, uh, let me get you to this page. Work with me for a second. Damn, this works slow. Hold on. So this is the, uh, I'm going to totally mispronounce it, uh, the, the Luau Est La Vie Camp, no bayou bridge, and that means water is life, I believe. And let me read you their post. Uh, three, before I went on air, uh, three out of the four, three out of the four uh, imprisoned were released from jail. This is a picture. They were held on 61,000, been set at a total of $63,500 for the four water protectors arrested yesterday. All four are facing felony, trumped up felony charges. And then they have the, their donate tab. These protectors were peacefully stopping illegal construction of the Bayou Bridge Pipeline in the Atcha. Oh, God, I'm going to mispronounce this one, too. I think it's Atchafalaya Basin when they were charged and violently attacked by police and workers from Energy Transfer Partners. Let me remind you, as they do here, we had permission, they had permission to be on the land from the landowner, and we were breaking no laws. But Energy Transfer Partners does not have a legal right to build on that land. So if you want more information, you could go uh, to their page. Again, it's uh, not even going to pretend to try and pronounce this right. Liao Est La Vie Camp, No Bayou Bridge. Loa, what? Loa La Vie. Thank you, Jennifer. And Jen's off camera tonight. She's uh, not doing so well. Uh, she's been sick for a little bit, uh, but she's rehabbing uh, in the comfort of New York. So she'll be back soon. But this, it's, it's so great that we're talking about, you know, Brett Kavanaugh and all these people on their high horse about the rule of law and judges, uh, their, their politics can't play a part because we are a law and order country. You know, Trump says it, law and order, law and order. Unless, the, unless your peaceful assemblance, Chris in Dallas says Jordan is a hunk. Chris. I am lonely these days. You're a hunk back. Um, it's a law and order country as long as you don't screw with our oil. It's a law and order country as long as you don't screw with our oil, big oil, fossil fuel donors. It's a law and order country as long as you don't breathe near a pipeline construction. It's a law and order country as long as you don't exercise the First Amendment, which is your constitutional right, near any pipeline, near any uranium mine, near any nuclear power plant. You could do, you could protest all you want away from our oil. Endo, corporate law for corporate order. Bingo. Bingo. We live, and this is, this predates Trump. We live in a police state. We live in the United States. States of oil. We live in the United Corporations of America. 
Donald Trump is a menace. He is a danger. But it didn't start with Donald Trump, and it ain't going to end after Donald Trump unless we make it end. Part of that is journalism. We need more reporters down there. We need more reporters to cover the Line 3 opposition in Minnesota. We need more reporters to cover the opposition in Virginia against the Mountain Valley uh, Pipeline, which Jen and I were there, my first reporting trip this year uh, as an independent journalist, not with TYT, was covering those tree protests in Virginia as a totally unnecessary natural gas pipeline is being rammed up the most dense slopes in America, which poses catastrophe, catastrophe to the people living there and the waterways. We need more reporters to expose what's going on because you cannot get protests, you cannot get actual change, you cannot get people on the ground or movement on social if half the people, actually 75% of the people, have no fucking idea what's going on in this country. Most Democrats don't know what's going on, most Republicans don't know what's going on, and most independents don't know what's going on. That's what we're trying to do. So you're, you're going to hear a lot more about that. We're going to launch that GoFundMe next week. Uh, we're going to also try to do a Patreon-only call, a video call this weekend for patrons. So uh, I'll be doing my video call this weekend. We'll send out an email invite to all the pa- to my whole email list, which, by the way, if you are not signed up for my email list, which will become the status coup email list, uh, you're waiting for a bus? You're waiting for a bus, folks? There's the link. Go to jordancharitin.com. Sign up for my email list. We'll be sending emails. Uh, for dates for our video call with patrons and when we launch the GoFundMe. If every single person can contribute to that GoFundMe, whatever you can contribute, we will get to our goal of getting back out in the field and covering more of these stories on the ground where we need to be. Thank you for watching. Share this video. And God bless destruction of the United Corporations of America. Good night. We're fucked.